seem hardly to have aged at all. Really? One never discusses a woman's age, Michael. Hey, howdy, hey, people of all ages. This is Wolfman 47 Dash here. Uh, I thought today to talk about <coughs> I've talk about age ratings. Now we know a lot of countries have different age ratings, some being very similar than others. Um, here in the UK, we've got two different ones, as far as I know. I think there's one for CDs as well, but not really going to go into that. Um, so we've got one for films and TV shows and music video concert related things um, called uh, BBFC, British something uh, corporation, something rather. Um, I'll say what it is in the edit when I get around to the editing. And Peggy, which is for the video game front. Um, BBFC have also done some video, rated some video games, but they don't, they mainly just do TV shows and films for all the different, so for the streaming services, um, in particular Netflix, um, for the Blu-rays, DVDs, 4K Blu-rays and yada yada yada. So um, before we go into the ones that I feel that I feel have had the most um, interesting age ratings. Interesting as in, why has it got this particular age rating? Let's talk about the different ones first. So, um, the lowest one we have here is U and 3. So, U standing for universal, suitable for all, and 3 being like the lowest age you can play a game. So, 3 being for Peggy and U being for BBFC. Um, and any and pretty much a lot as long as it as long as the content of your stuff is suitable for everyone to see it's fine so you could get away with maybe some not you can't do any profanity you can't do any drugs you can't do any you can't do like graphic brutal violence you could probably get away with cartoon violence but not like slapstick but not like Full on brutal violence and absolutely no sex or nudity, no alcohol con cons consuming. Yeah, basically anything that is suitable for a child to watch or play. That's what that, those are for. PG. Most most countries have this as a sort of age rating. Um, pretty straightforward. Stands for parental guidance, and the PEG equivalent is is seven. So, and it's pretty much for older kids and also families, and it can, does contain some stuff that you can can put in a U. So, for example, um, guns could be involved, but not like violent, but not used for violent means. Uh, weapons can be used. It's a little bit more violent. Um, some innuendo things are in there, and some mature themes are in there. But generally, on the whole, it's aimed. That sort of rating is aimed for families, um, and that's how it should be, and that's for those ratings. Uh, next, so Peggy and BBFC both have a 12 rating, and that usually is the sort of rating that most superhero films get. Uh, and we do have a sort of leeway in the 12 for BBFC, because in cinemas you can get films that are 12A, which means... Which means it's suitable for people at the age of twelve or over, but can be seen by young children if accompanied by an adult. And twelve usually allows more violence in there, just as long as there's no blood or gore or anything ripping apart. Um, it does allow some profanity, but not too much. Um, and it does allow it doesn't allow nudity, as in revealing, as in all the sort of rude parts being revealed. Um, but it does allow sex scenes as long as it's as long as it's very very censored. So you could go away with seeing a topless man in there, but a topless woman, but a woman has to be covered in a towel or whatever. And yeah, and I think you can get away with some other stuff as well. But that, that's all I know about that. Fifteen is when things get really interesting, and the Peggy equivalent is sixteen. Um, this is where drugs, alcohol, profanity, sex, nudity, and violence can all be upped to a, to a great deal, um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, 
18, which applies to BBFC and PEG, is when you can get away with every, when everything's off, nothing's off limits. You can do everything. You can swear in every sentence. You can have sex and nudity everywhere. You can have violence and so forth and all that stuff. But the thing that I would say isn't allowed for an 18, believe it or not, is when a thing is full on nudity and sex, because that kind of borderline gets borderline into porn, which has its own age rating. Um, but in an 18, you can get away with sex and nudity just as long as it's not all sex and nudity. There's other stuff in there as well. Um, so that's basically an explanation of the age ratings we've got here. Um, you might have your own age ratings wherever you live, um, but that's how it works here in the UK. Uh, now, there's a lot that do have sort of questionable age ratings, and most of them are for very bizarre, silly reasons. Um, the Alice in Wonderland film that Tim Burton did, I call that a film, not a remake, because it's a continuation of the story, not an actual remake. The only reason why people call it a remake is because it's in name only. It otherwise has nothing to do with the animated film, just has the same name. Anyway, enough about that. That's rated PG here. And in that film, there is some floating heads, human heads. Uh, an eye gets pulled out from a creature and a creature's head gets chopped off. Those sorts of things I would not put in a PG film. That's more borderline 15, if anything. Yes, there's no blood and gore from, from those bits, but that's kind of leaning towards that aid rating. Uh, then there's Inside Out, which is rated U. Um, I think it should be PG because, although it's not... Because it's kind of indirectly a film about mental health, about our person feels inside and the sort of imagination that runs wild i mean pixar could have got away with we could have thought of all sorts of different scenarios for that um but obviously because they are a company that usually make family friendly stuff with mature themes yeah that sort of thing's kind of more than it was at 12. um same with um films that sort of have references to films like the shining and so forth if you want to get away with references, if you want to put references from a much more adult film into a film aimed for children or families, you should really do that knowing full well that the film will be watched by people that have seen those films. Like Ready Player One works because Ready Player One has Easter eggs and references to um, all sorts of different franchises, including The Shining and, and all that. So that's fine. Um, because that's the target audience for that film. It may be rated 12 here, but that's the target audience for that. Um, one film that was quite, that I've seen quite recently, and this was a film I actually saw with uh, fellow YouTuber Clank Zoka, was Bo is Afraid. Now, this was made by H24. H24, for those who don't know, is largely known for making horror films and is also that one company that specialise in allowing all filmmakers and directors that work with them to have as much creative freedom as they want. That was kind of everything that you should expect from a 15 rated film, which is what it was, but it was sort of leaning towards a 12 film. If they pushed it a bit further, that would have got the rating that it got. It's a pretty messed up film for sure, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Game, moving on from that, let's move, let's talk about some of the games. Now, most video games are usually pretty well rated. Like most are often, you often get are often sixteen or eighteen, and those are usually usually rated really well because most of the Assassin's Creed games are rated eighteen because every single game involves killing somebody in a quite violent way, so it earns its eighteen rating. The Batman Arkham games that I've been playing, they've they definitely earned their sixteen rating, because as much because even though Batman himself doesn't kill usually, um, there are lots of points in the games where there are just sort of messed up killings by the villains and all that, and it just and yeah it it earns its rating. Uh, 
I don't really know if there's any more that I could think of. Um, most stuff, most of the things we do see are rated really well by the companies that rate the films and then, and video games and so forth. And then there are others that are rated bizarrely and weirdly for very weird reasons. Like another one I can think of is the King's Speech, which um, was was going to be rated 15 but then the BFC changed their mind and changed it to a 12 because there was only it was implied that the film had a lot of profanity but in the end there was only one scene that had profanity a lot of profanity in it so because it was just one scene they decided to rate it down to a 12 to sort of imply that is meant for an audience that's 12 years or older or oh, but much older implied but um that because it had one scene of profanity that was fine uh one of Edgar Wright's films Hot Fuzz part of the Three Flavor Cornetto trilogy great trilogy of films um that had a rating of that was 15 rated and that I think deserved its 15 rating probably would have gone towards an 18 had it got went a bit further with the violence and other stuff um, but it was interesting because the Blu-ray itself was 18 rated, so that got me thinking maybe the bonus features were much stronger than Hot Fuzz. But yeah, all I'm trying to say in this video is when a, when someone a major corporation tries to rate a film with ages and so forth, you need to make sure it's the right rating you need to watch it or play it all the way through making sure that there's nothing that's missed um because if you miss one one tiny thing it could be a bad it might be a bad thing like i know for example that the little mermaid uh the original little mermaid not the remake um had a poster that had moments where it sort of like had sexual innuendos like the poster had a had a solid penis on it um, and the there was a moment where the priest looked like it was looked like it was having a bit of a having a bit of a good time down there. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's all I've got to say on on those. Um, all the films I mentioned are are good, not perfect, but good and definitely worth your time, um, regardless of what age you are. Um, well, obviously, yeah, obviously for, for Bo's Afraid, you do have to be 15 or over to watch it, but yeah, not upset about that. Um, so draw your own conclusions if you want to, if you think it's suitable for wh whoever, because the age ratings are just there for guidance. Yes, there is, there can be a law in some, in some establishments like cinemas and so forth that sort of say you have to be the certain age to watch it. And that's usually fine. So, yeah. Okay. That's, I think I've covered everything in this, that I wanted to do in this video. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like if you like the video. Comment below if you want to comment below. I'd love to hear about other films or video games you felt were rated, were rated wrongly or had to question about age ratings and so forth. And also subscribe if you want to see more. I do vlogs every every like four days and uh gameplay of gameplay in, in between um videos at 1 p.m british Stat summertime every day uh and i'm hoping to do special subscriber count videos when i reach 69 subscribers and 75 subscribers so it's known because of the dirtiness behind the number <laughs> And 75 because it's a milestone kind of number. And uh, also, I'm also running a poll on my on my community on my community tab on the channel, uh, just to see if any of you want to know, if I just to find out if there's any kind of vlogs you want to see me do more of. Um, I've come up with a few examples there, but um, also please vote on that to tell me what kind of vlogs you want me to do in the future. Uh, and that's it. Thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.